What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey. I'm Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey and every once in a while throw in other whiskey related content. Today we're going to be doing my 2024 whiskey resolutions. Stick around. Okay, so 2024 has officially kicked off and we've reached the point now where we can stop looking back on 2023 and start looking forward and start taking stock of all the things that we want to accomplish and whatever, intro stuff, blah, blah, blah. This is my 2024 whiskey resolution list. Please leave a like. Also, I have a mystery pour, so you should stick around for that too. Okay, so my number five resolution is to try more whiskey from new distilleries. Now, to be fair, there's not really too much that I can do about that because different markets get what they get when they get them. But still, there's a lot of brands that I do want to try this year. I haven't tried anything from the likes of stuff like Nick Neen. I haven't tried anything from Ben Wivis. There's the new Rose Isle 12 year old part of Diageo Special Collections. That one is actually out here. It's sold here, but it's a little bit expensive. So we'll see about that one. There's also the Hirek. Hirek? Hirek? Uh, I'm not sure how that one's pronounced. Although in terms of spelling, it does look suspiciously like either heartache or headache, both of which are very much tied into the overconsumption of whiskey. So I'm not sure about the name. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, that one's out of the Isle of Harris distillery. It just came out recently. Uh, there's also stuff like Loch Lee, who actually, these guys have quite a range already, even though their whiskeys are really young. And that range is sold here. So I should probably get on top of that. Although I do hear that a lot of the releases taste really young and they can be really hit or miss. So if you guys have any suggestions about which, which Loch Lee I should start with, you can let me know that down below. Uh, but yeah, the point is there's loads of new brands out there that I've yet to try. And what's nice about a lot of these new distilleries is that they're giving us craft produced whiskeys. They're often done with a greater deal of like expertise and care than a lot of the legacy distilleries that are just kind of resting on their laurels. So there is a lot to look forward to in the world of Scotch whiskey and that's it. I want to try more stuff. Resolution number four is more lists on the channel. And yes, I already do quite a bit of lists, especially compared to, I think, other channels out there. But you guys really seem to respond well to them. I get a lot of comments with suggestions on what I might do for a list. And you guys just tell me in general that you look forward to the lists. And why wouldn't you? Now, granted, list videos are going to be less in depth, but they also let us cover and discuss more whiskeys within the span of a single video. And more whiskey is never a bad thing except for all of the times that it is. Remember to drink water. But yeah, list videos are really fun. They're actually more challenging than you might think because you do have to come up with kind of an interesting and engaging concept. And then you have to really think about what bottles best work within the parameters of that concept. So it's actually more time consuming than you might think. Those videos also tend to be longer. They're more edit heavy, but in the end, I do think it's worth it because they make me more money because they give my beloved audience what they want. So with that said, give me some suggestions for lists that you guys would like to see. In fact, a lot of the videos that I've already done in the past were based on suggestions from you guys. So you guys do have some really good ideas sometimes. Obviously, they're not always great ideas. Sometimes they're shit, but you know, win some, lose some. Still, if you've got a concept that you want to see on the channel, don't be shy to put it forward. There's no bad ideas except for the terrible ones. So yeah, we should have a lot more lists to look forward to in 2024. A lot of you guys tell me that you look forward to them. People seem to love them. So yeah, there we go. And once again, definitely not because they make more money. All right, resolution number three. I think this one's going to sound a little bit cliche to a lot of you, but this year, 2024, I really want to focus on quality over quantity because I happen to be a very fancy boy who likes fancy things. Personally, I do consider myself to be one of the elites. After all, I am the proud owner of a pastel pink polo shirt. Uh, I have shopped at Whole Foods once and I quite liked it. And I happen to be an exceptional golf player. Probably. I've never played it, but I assume I'd be really good at it. And since I'm such a little princess and I enjoy the finer things in life, I would rather spend my money on whiskeys that I genuinely find rewarding. And that's not to say that these whiskeys need to be expensive, but they do need to be good. Now, obviously taste is subjective and you never know if something's good until you try it. But uh, I guess just this year, I want to do more research and be a little bit more selective about what whiskeys I do spend my money on, uh, because this might come as a shocker to you guys, but the guy with the whiskey YouTube channel buys a lot of whiskey. And if that wasn't shocking enough, here's another bombshell for you guys. Whiskey 
is pretty expensive. Uh, like I've seen a couple other YouTube channels that tallied up at the end of 2023, they tallied up all the money that they'd spent on whiskey in the previous year. And initially I was considering doing something like that, but then I didn't because I'm scared. I'm just not sure I need that kind of negativity in my life. Also, as it turns out, a lot of people have the internet and that includes my girlfriend. And if she watched that video, I'm just not sure how pleasant our next conversation would be. Now, obviously I am just kidding there. No, I'm not. But the point is I do spend a fair amount of money every year on whiskey. And since I've already got so much whiskey, more than I'll ever need, uh, I'd rather focus in 2024 on maintaining a certain level of quality. All right, so resolution number two is more alternatives. I wanna try more different stuff this year in 2024. Uh, not too long ago, I put out a video of my favorite alternatives of 2023. The winner was this guy right here. This is the Talikev 15. It's an Armagnac. It's one of the best bottles of anything that I have on my shelves, at least in terms of like reachability. I come back to this stuff so much. I love it so much. And I just want more things like this. Of course, the vast majority of what I'm going to buy and drink is still going to be single malts, probably most of them out of Scotland. Um, but I want to diversify my portfolio. There is so much cool stuff coming out of the rum world, coming out of the brandy world, the tequila slash mezcal world, and a lot of these can and often do rival single malts. Thing is, that's really not going to be too easy for me. Uh, I happen to be based in Taiwan. Taiwan is an absolute heaven for single malt scotch whiskeys. We're spoiled for choice. We're spoiled for prices. Things are great. But if you're trying to get into like craft rum, interesting rums, we have some, very few coming in. Stuff like Brandy, uh, there's a lot of big brand cognacs, but craft produced interesting things, Armagnacs, very few and far between. And if it's anything interesting out of Mexico at all, forget it, we don't have it, we have this. So it's not gonna be easy, it will be a bit of a challenge, but it's gonna be worth it getting in quality alternatives. Whether I have to do that when I'm traveling, maybe I'll have to order them in internationally. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the goal for 2024. More alternatives. Okay, so my number one resolution for 2024, uh, this one's a little bit kind of like sweet and mushy, but I want to get out more and meet more people uh, because 2023 was a really interesting year. I think it was the first year where my channel reached a size where I did actually have people reaching out to me, asking me if I could join like tastings, join them in like social events. I even started hosting my own tastings last year, which was super fun. And that's something that initially I was kind of hesitant about because you might not know this, but I am actually a little bit of an introvert. Now, obviously when I'm shooting, when I'm on camera, I have to be very outgoing and witty and clever and charming and ridiculously good looking. But in real life, I do often keep to myself. I can be a little bit shy and I often kind of stay in my comfort zone. But 2023 had me going out to a bunch of events, meeting a lot of like-minded people. And through that, I've made some legitimately good friends. I think that's really cool and I want to keep that going. And that's exactly what I want to keep doing this year. I want to join more tastings, go to more whiskey shows, meet more people. So again, it's a little bit mushy, but it is the best thing that's come out of me having this channel. Well, second best thing, still like the money more. All right, that was it. That was my 2024 whiskey resolutions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let's hope this is a good year for my whiskey journey, for my YouTube journey. It always sounds so cheesy, whiskey journey. Uh, guess what? I've got a mystery pour in my glass. And if you stuck around to find out what that is, I've got Westland Single Malt American Whiskey. Uh, this one kind of does, but also kind of doesn't fall into the alternative category. Officially, it doesn't because it is a single malt whiskey, but this one is out of the States and the profile is completely different, especially if you're coming from the world of scotch. This is not going to taste like anything familiar to you, but it is really good and it is really interesting and it's worth checking out. And that brings us to the dramatic conclusion to our video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help out the channel, I do have the Patreon. Otherwise, you can like, comment, subscribe. Always appreciated. And I do want to hear from you. What are your resolutions for this year? Or let me know if you've got any ideas for like reviews or concepts that you want to see on the channel down the line. I'll keep those in mind. Bye, guys.